the Guan Yu is a healer. The Terra is a healer. So the play, I think, is going to be with a anti-heal item such as Divine Ruin. I'm going to ult, and I'm just going to bamboozle the Yao Kong. Let's go ahead and get out of here and hope the Terra does not see us. And she saw us. <laughs> And that's going to be end of that life for the Windy Boy. Welcome back, Chrono Troops, to more Smite Pickup Group Joust. With your boy, Chrono Kitty, giving you the uh, best uh, cuckoo uh, plays you've seen. Playing our uh, favorite Windy Boy, Coco Khan. Today we'll be playing with a Mandragander, Joman Gander, and Hachi against an enemy team double tank, Guan Yu and Terra with a Yao Kong. Terrifying enemy team, as a matter of fact. That uh, the Yao Kong has really strong ability to quickly execute mages at full life. And he is not only going to be able to use his escape to get away, but he is going to be able to hide behind his allies. Let's grab some tasty coffee. Mm. And where is the enemy team? Let's go ahead and take damage camp while we are waiting on them to show up for our boy uh, Hachiman. And we'll go ahead and push back the tower now because Terra has some really good crowd control and we just don't want to get hit with that if we don't have to. So just grab and wave, doing the heals, getting heals. Hachiman pushing up a little bit. Let's go ahead and push up myself, drop a whirlwind, long range sniper whirlwind and then we'll back up to tower behind team. Ooh, not the best position for Yao Kong. He's trying to go in, get some damage. And I did not place that whirlwind exactly where I wanted. Now let's go ahead and push up a little bit. Oh, Mandragander getting the stun on the enemy team, dropping a whirlwind, pressure an enemy team off. Didn't matter that Terra came in with the stun, because that team is getting pushed back. Yao Kong is coming in, teleported in. He's taking a ton of damage. Is he going to die for it? Oh, Terra might die for this, and we are going to finish her off. Team kills are the best kills. There is Guan Yu. Let's go ahead and go back to Mana Camp. As our boy Hachi has indicated. Let's go ahead and grab Mana Camp. And hit level 5. So right now, the kills are 1-0 us. And 555 five, five, our team. And 544 four, enemy team. And Hachi just took a truckload of damage and had to back off. Mandragander is really pushed up and he's going after Guan Yu and he's going to finish that kill. Nice. Oh. That was a lovely teleport by the Yao Kong. He teleported away from my ultimate and right at me. Terrifying. Mandragander is within kill range. Can he be killed? Can he be killed by Yao Kong? I'm not sure. Hmm. Part of uh, Yomangander's passive is he can't be knocked up. He has his own birth control. So I am wondering if he can be killed by specifically uh, Yao Kong's ultimate because in order to first kill him, he first has to uh, knock him up. 
which uh, sounds sounds worse than it is, but it just pushes them in the air. Let's go ahead and help out the team fight after taking wave. Ooh, that's a perfect ult right there. And sploosh! Got the boy. Again, the second time the Guan Yu went down. Maybe he went with a more damaging Guan Yu build. And Terra is down now as well. I do not see enemy team. Let's go ahead and grab this wave. And then we'll go ahead and push back. Hachiman wanted a few hits on the enemy team's tower. Let's go ahead while Yao Kong is in the center lane. Let's go ahead and take XP camp. So the last thing we want is a well-leveled Yao Kong. And now we are heading back to center lane. We don't have a whole lot of mana at the moment. But we do have a med, which could heal us. Helping take down some wave. Hurt some enemies. Staying far enough back to punish Yao Kong if he wants to come into tower and execute me. Able to make just barely enough mana for another whirlwind. Trying to find the perfect placement for it. Oh, there he is. Let's go ahead and ult. Let's go ahead and... I mean, let's go ahead and med. I guess then ult. Oh no! Oh no! We are executed! So, yeah, notice how right before I... I died. He, like, took me into the air. I'm not sure if that is a knock-up or a um, banish. Which I also think uh, uh, Mandragander is might be yeah which I think he also might be immune to that as well let's go ahead and grab mana camp the kills are 5 to us and levels are 877 me and 876 Yao Kong enemy team and we're just gonna go ahead and wait for wave to push up until our boy Mandragander gets back. Terra is going to miss her stun on me. And whole enemy team here. The team fight is here. And we hit Yao Kong with a, uh, a slow. But we're not gonna, no one's going to be able to make use of it right now. Terra is trying to get the stun on me. And we are going to hit both uh, Yao Kong and I think it was Terra with that Whirlwind. No, I think it was... Actually, I think it was Guan Yu. Let's see if we can make anything happen with that ultimate. Terra's going to miss the stun on us again. And Mandragander is ulting. I think he feels that the play... Oh, that's, that, that's a wonderful sneak right there on my part. Drop on the whirlwind and getting the kill on Guan Yu and getting the kill on <laughs> on Yao Kong. Player two has entered the game. Always look behind you <laughs> when you're playing with an enemy mage, because you never know when they're gonna do stuff just like that. And the Terra does not have a whole lot of life. Mandragander going in. Let's see if I can help the boy out a little bit. Alright, now let's go ahead and see if we can finish Tower, Hachiman and I. And that is going to be Tower. Here comes Yao Kong. Let's go ahead and see if we can pressure him off. Up oh, the Quan Yu is here. Might have been uh, coming in for the uh, ultimate stun. The ultimate stun! No, his ultimate has a stun when he drops off his horse. Oh, here is Yao Kong. Let's see if I can sneak him into a whirlwind, and I can, and I can hit him with a Zephyr, and can I hit him with an ultimate, and I can hit him with an ultimate, and Hachiman's gonna finish the boy off. So, yes, don't do that. Do <laughs> a cuckoo with his, with all of his abilities up. I think he realized that once I hit him with the whirlwind, 
and the, the Zephyr afterwards. The uh, normal combo with Cuckoo is to hit the enemy player with the Zephyr first. We're playing with all PC players against all PC players. But we enjoy that challenge. So the normal thing is to hit them with the Zephyr, then the Whirlwind. Because you, it's a lot easier to hit them with that Whirlwind if they are first slowed. Can we do anything with this? Can we do anything with this? And she is... Did, did she ult? She may have ulted to get away. And we'll just go ahead and take down Wave. But a little sneak you can do is if you know exactly where the enemy is going to be in about a second or two, you can drop your Whirlwind there. And then after they're in that Whirlwind, then you can secure a, a boop with the uh, Zephyr as well. And that can be a frightening amount of damage. Oh, hello, friend. Friendo. And we're going to hit him with the Whirlwind again. We're hitting him with the Zephyr again. And then we're going to block his escape. Uh, wonderful use of the abilities again. Oh, hi, Hachi. Sorry for blocking you. And let's go ahead and go back. And see about going to our next item. So, uh, as, you, as you noticed, uh, we have Stone of Fall, and we just finished uh, cooldown uh, Mana Boots. So we're sitting pretty on 30 CDR. And we're getting that CDR from Magi's Blessing, and Mana Boots, and also Stone of Fall, which is a damage item, a defense, magical defense item, and cooldown item as well. So really good against this particular enemy team since we have two magical users on it. The Terra is a guardian and does magical damage. And the Yao Kong is a, is a mage. Guan Yu, for those of you who don't know, is a warrior and hence will do physical damage. I'm going to go ahead and just drop some wave which will push back enemy team because they know if they want to engage me they'll have to come into the tower and now that Yokong is backed we can push up a little bit more and so I will take the opportunity to grab some more wave and boop Guan Yu which does a truck load of damage to the poor boy Yokong is in the side lane being pressured back by my team I think he was looking for the gank a little bit, but then was pushed back. They're not going for their mana camp. Thought they may have been. That's why I dropped that right over. Terra hoping to get the random stun off somebody. Really excellent tank on the enemy team. She's doing a ton of damage. She's doing uh, using her kit extremely well. Let's go ahead and see if we can get the boop off of her. And that is not going to happen. So we're just going to take a tower shot and get out. The uh, Terra, one of the one of the uh, strategies she's doing that's really exceptional, is dropping her standing her stunning standing stone, her healing standing stone, diving in with her dash. Hope hope trying to get ooh ooh. We were baiting there, and I just took too much damage, too much damage, and I'm going to go down for it. Another insta kill by Yao Kong. Enemy team has come online. The uh, kills now are at 10 for us, and the levels are 12, 11, 11, our Mandragander, and 11, 11, 9, enemy Yao Kong. They were able to, uh, they are all a clan, as a matter of fact, as well as not being uh, PC players. So they might they might be on comms doing uh doing chats. Let's go ahead and head back to our tower to continue to protect it. The mana buff is up. Let's grab that first. The damage camp is going to be up shortly as well. Enemy team's tower is down. Oh, it looks like they are going for damage camp. So I'm going to take down wave. And if you notice, we are into our first penetration item. The 
Guan Yu is a healer. The Terra is a healer. So the play, I think, is going to be with a anti-heal item such as Divine Ruin. I'm going to ult, and I'm just going to bamboozle the Yao Kong. Let's go ahead and get out of here and hope the Terra does not see us. And she saw us. <laughs> And that's going to be end of that life for the Windy Boy. Let's go into our next relic, which will be a shell for the team. All right, you can against this specific enemy. T oh, Terra pushed up to to kill me right there, and she is going to pay the ultimate price. The uh, enemy team has Guan Yu, which does has his uh, team heal and his self heal and Terra which has her team heal as well so a Divine Ruin is going to be the play here which I, th I think I've already said <laughs> it looks like there is a team fight going on in the Bull Demon let's go ahead and see if we can help out ooh let's go ahead and ult right here and our that poor boy is going to teleport right into our ult saddest of days when you teleport into <laughs> a cuckoo ult. Ouch. Let's see if we can take this down before Terra gets here. And Terra is now here. So let's go ahead and get out of here. Last thing we want is to be stunned in the bull demon and take far more damage than we need to. I'm going to go ahead and back up a little bit while Mandagander pushes her back to lane. We can finish Divine Ruin now. Which will give us an additional 80 magical damage and 10 penetration along with the anti-heal passive. Pushing up into tower and we'll go ahead and just drop some Whirlwind's Take Wave. There's the team coming right into tower. I'm going to go ahead and use some abilities. Get stunned by Terra. Have to pressure Terra off. I would have preferred to have used that Whirlwind outside of the outside of the tower. Let's see if I'm going to sneak on the enemy team. Are they coming in? Is he coming in? Is he going back? And the Yaokong is going back. Maybe he didn't know how low I was. He could have done it either way, but it was a more risky move. Looks like Mandragander is taking the... Did he take? Yeah, he took enemy uh, mana camp. Is our damage... Yes, our damage is up. So let's go ahead and grab this for Hachi. And then we can go back and heal up. Our next item that we're going to have to go into is uh, Obsidian Shard, which is a second penetration item, which is considered a strong tank penetration item. We are playing against two tanks, and I feel that that's doing... Ooh, our, bo our boy was just standing right there. Can we get another sneak on him? And no, he knows he knows what we were about. Enemy team went with a damage relic. And we're just going to continue to drop our whirlwind as often as we can. Hopefully we can punish the Yao Kong before he can kill us. And we could. He went down, but we were also taken down as well. Mandragander is stuck here in a two on one fight. He needs to get out. Stunning the enemy team. He's going back to center lane. He's going back to tower. Hits down. He's deciding to run away to pull the enemy team away from tower. Smart play by Mandragander. We are up in a few seconds. And Hachi and I will be running back to tower to defend it as enemy team is there. Mandragander asking Hachi to stay with him. We're gonna ult the Guan Yu off 
We're going to use some abilities on the on the Terra. Try to pressure her off. She doesn't do a lot of damage. We got to go back now because the whole team is here. Missed me with the insta-kill. I wasn't quite low enough. He had a itchy trigger finger. Let's go ahead and heal up. Finish Obsidian Shard. And get back into the fight. During the meantime, our Hachiman went down. And Yao Kong went down as well. Mander Gander grabbing uh, Mana Camp, which is going to solidly put me up to maximum cooldown. There's a, a little bit of a strategy, in my opinion, of using Mana Camp, basically only stacking uh, 30 uh, cooldown reduction, CDR, and then depending on Mana Camp and Potions, or Potions, to uh, get you back up to 40. That way you can uh, tend to go with a uh, little uh, different builds and potentially even uh, more more damagey items to get that and we get to get that full CDR. Whole enemy team is here. Let's go ahead and uh, drop a whirlwind. Sit in a whirlwind. Let's see anyone follow me. Oh, let's ult. Gonna hit both of you, and we're gonna get back into lane. We're gonna heal up get out of uh, execution range of our boy Yao Kong. And there's Guan Yu. The boop is going to finish him off. There's Yao Kong. He wants to finish me off. He's within booping range. Boop! And he is down as well. Just give him the old boop and the snoot. Enemy team is completely down. Let's go ahead and tank this. We can take three hits. And third hit, and we are finishing off the Phoenix. Enemy team is down for at least 10 seconds. We can should be able to burn this down. Let's use everything we have on it. And that is going to take it down and win us the game. Uh, thanks for watching, Chrono Troops. If you enjoyed that, please give me a like and subscribe. If you'd like to get notified next time I upload a video, please go and smash that notification bell. Thanks for watching, and as always, have a super day.